What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another One Engine WordPress tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be setting the slider to auto rotate and also after that we're going to set the time to the specific time that we want. Um, some people have bigger banners with more information that they want people to be able to read so setting the time is important and also just getting it to rotate by itself is kind of something that a lot of people want to do. So this is what that tutorial is going to do. First thing you need to do is make sure that you have a few sliders. I use, uh, as you just saw, I use 1500 by 400. I use that for my banners. I find that works on most resolutions and still looks pretty smooth. You want to come over to your sliders. That's where you're going to put your images if you didn't already know. And I'm just going to come in and edit one just to show you. You put it in the feature images spot, and this is the image that's going to show up on the slider. So um, I've already got three images. So the next thing we need to do is go into your FTP server and go into WordPress, Themes, One Engine, JS. And inside of the JS, you want to take out the main JS fold, uh, file drop it in here and as you can see I already have it and you would just open it up in your uh, editor and you're gonna look for line 184 where it's tag header slider owl carousel navigation true this shows next and previous buttons we want that if uh, say someone wants to go back or forward skip some slides we want that to happen if you didn't want that uh, you want it just to auto rotate and the user not to be able to do that. You would just change that to false. And the next thing we want to do is come in and add a line of code that says autoplay true. And if you put autoplay true, I think that automatically sets the time to five seconds. Uh, if you want it a little bit longer, all you have to do is change the true to a number and it's going to be in milliseconds so if we wanted to come into Google and say how many milliseconds in milliseconds in 10 seconds it's going to be 10,000 right we'll just want it to be sure here see milliseconds 10,000 milliseconds in 10 seconds and it's pretty pretty simple to figure that stuff out but you could always use Google if you wanted to so we're gonna come into our editor and change this true to let's just change it to uh, 15,000 and that way it's gonna be 15 seconds okay so you're gonna go ahead and save that close out of there go ahead and take that main and drop it back in here and copy it duplicate uh, overwrite yes and also, whenever you're doing code changes, I mean, this seems like it's kind of a no-brainer, but always make a copy of the file and keep it and don't edit it, just in case, because if you mess up something inside that main JS file, and uh, your, your website won't even load. So it's pretty important just to keep a fresh copy, a copy that definitely works, off to the side just in case uh, the process is wrong. So. I'm going to come back into the website now and open it up and see if it takes 15 seconds to change the slides. All right, so you come into your website, hit F5 to refresh it nice and fresh, and we should get a 15 second count. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Boom. Perfect. Even counted it out right. So that's how you go ahead and do that. And uh, I hope that helps. We'll see you next time. Peace.